Looks like we have a, a VW that's cut in half. What do we have there? Yeah, here? This is a diagnostic car. Right? Okay. So uh, our students, the teachers can put some failures in it. Okay. And ask the students to look for it. Okay. And I think they can put in 300 kind, kinds of technical failures. Inside and the kids Inside have to figure the it out. And then the, the students have to look and prepare and repair it. So basically no matter what, uh, what level you're in, whether it be one through four, you'd still go through this type of training. Go to this type of training, yes. Right. Right, and kids as early as young as 14 years oh, old? Oh, it's, it's 16. 16 yeah. at this level? At, the, at this level, because there's a lot of electronics involved. But it, on the other side could be 14, 14 years old? Yes, okay. on 14. Great. And, and what type of car, I haven't seen this type of car over here, what, what type of car is That's this? That's an electrical car. Oh, so you even do electrical. Yeah. Are electrical cars getting more popular here? And it starts, huh? Uh-huh. It starts at the moment. But uh, at least you're getting the kids introduced into this. And this is a pro this has been a project. It's a part uh, of a car. This was originally it was a, a cart on on gasoline. Mm -hmm. But they converted it to converted electrical. It to electric. Like it was a little one of the projects the students made their, 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 themselves. And your your the teachers that teach this type of program, many of them were involved in the vocational program? No, they come, mostly they do the tech, what we call the technical program. But they had this type of stuff in school? Yeah, they had, most of them come from the school here. They followed this education here, really? and then they studied for a teacher. Did they ever work in industry? Some of them did, but there are some that came right. Right from school to here. Great. Had you something to go with? So this is this looks like the motor room. Yeah, this is the motor room. Yes. And you can see the motors are here in different stages, and the kids are pulling them apart. And uh, it's a pretty impressive system over here. It looks like uh, all the different alternators and uh, kind of more stages and electrical. So how many like cars do the do you have for the kids to work on here? Uh, I think we have. 30, 30 to 40. Yes, 30 to 40. 30, 40 cars to the kids in all different uh, no, educational vehicles. Yeah, any American cars here? Or? No. Not so popular here no, in Europe, no, no, huh? It's too expensive. Yeah. To bring them over, right? Yeah. <laughs> These kids are about 16, 17. They have 22 hours out of 32 hours yeah. a week no. practical education. That means they're only working in auto mechanics. And uh, I guess the other 10 hours they would be getting in academics. Well, academics, uh, general education. General education. No. But basic the mathematics, some English. Again, I've had general basic mathematics. Basic mathematics, some English. So but the some sport, sports, two hours of sports. Sports. Only two hours of sports in bed. Two hours of sports. But the, the main focus is they can prepare these kids to do something when they, yeah, right. they leave high school. Yeah. This uh, auto bay here, what is this here? This is especially for people who go to work for three days a week in a garage mm -hmm. and they come to school for two days a week. It's a special kind of education in Belgium. Oh, so this is, this so is, you do have some of this type of... There are a, 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 handful, a handful of students that work in the garage three days a week. a week and they come here for education for two days a week. It's a special kind of education in okay. Belgium. And there are a few schools who provide it. We are one of them. Okay, and is this a popular this is, form? No, no, it's not so popular. There are, I think, four, four students here. Four students in this way. Okay. So you're telling me with one teacher teaches four students? Yeah. And that's allowed? Yeah, that's, that's not a lot, but uh, these are mostly not uh, the most... What else I most Academic. motivated, motivated, most motivated most, students. Uh, mostly students that lost contact with society and uh, they are in a difficult situation. But they're actually working. And they have to go to school in Belgium until they were 18. Right. They stopped going to school at 15. Right. And there's a special regime in Belgium to take care of them. So they're working uh, for a private industry. For a private industry for three days a week. And do they receive money for this? They receive money, yes. Uh, and does private industry uh, want to take these kids or are they subsidized it's by... It's difficult. 
at the moment there is some yeah, economical regression in Belgium and it's difficult to find work for them. So the government doesn't subsidize the these people? The, no. All right. and, and they, they subsidize the education, but not the people who take them Right. The industry. And how many euros do these kids receive for the three days a week? How many? Oh, it's uh, euros. For their contract. 700 a month. 700, no. which is not bad for a 15, 16 no, year old no, kid. No, it's not bad. 